Okay, in this problem we're asked to sketch the region R, give an iterated integral that calculates our double integral of f of x, y over the region R, and then we're also asked to evaluate our, our iterated integral that we determined. So we're given that f of x, y is equal to 2xy, and our region R is defined by when x is between 0 and 2, and y is between x squared and 6 minus x. So first we want to sketch a graph of our region R. So So first, we'll start by just looking at y. So if y is more than x squared, then that means if we sketch our graph of y equals x squared, we're looking at all the values where, where y is more than or equal to that graph. So we have our parabola here. and say that that's y equals x squared. And then we also want to, so we're looking at, right now, we're looking at all values that are of y that are more than that. So that's this, do it in blue. That's this region, including the uh, line y equals x squared, uh, where y is more than x squared. And then we also want to, we also have a, another constraint on y in that it's less than or equal to 6 minus x squared. So if we let this be 6, then we kind of, we have a negative sloped line. Uh, containing the points 0, 6 and 6, 0. And they intersect at, well, first, so we want the, point, the values of y that are more than our x squared, which is given in blue. And then we want the values of y that are less than or equal to 6 minus x. So if this is 6 minus x, then we're looking at values less than this. So that's go in this direction. That's this value. It's going to be just kind of this strange shape. And then we have all of our constraints on y. And now we just want to look at our constraint on x, or on x, which is that x ranges from 0 to 2. So, first note, when x is equal to 2, we see that x squared is equal to 4, and 6 minus x is equal to 4 as well. So that means that we're at our point of intersection. So we know that this point is 2. So we're looking at our values of x between 0 and 2. So that means that we get kind of we get this region here that's below our y equals 6 minus x, above our parabola y equals x squared, and between x equals 0 and x equals 2. So we want to calculate or set up a, an iterated integral to give us the value of our double integral of r of f of x, y over this region, r. So we're given our function f of x, y is 2xy. 2xy. So we want to set up double integral of 2xy. Now we're going to evaluate our integral um, dy dx 
So we're going to calculate the integral with respect to y first. So if we look at how our y is ranging over our values of x, on this region we see that our function y equals x squared is always going to be the lower bound and our function y equals 6 minus x is always going to be the upper bound. So we're ranging from x squared to 6 minus x over all the values of x within our range 0 to 2. So so our um, integral is going to be ranging from x squared to 6 minus x for our interior integral. And then as stated before and given in our region r, we want to look at just varying x from x equals 0 to 2. So our limits of integration are 0 to 2. So we have our double integral that or our iterated integral that models the double integral of f of xy over the region r. And so first we can, so now we want to evaluate this iterated integral. So we can split this up into two integrals. So first we'll calculate the integral from x squared to 6 minus x of 2xy with respect to y. So the integral of 2xy with respect to y is going to be xy squared. And we're going to be evaluating that from x squared to 6 minus x. And then we still need to calculate our integral with respect to x. So we can go ahead and evaluate our integral, our first integral. So we get So we plug in 6 minus x for y, and we get x times 6 minus x quantity squared. And then minus, plug in y equals x squared, we get x squared squared is x to the fourth times x is x to the fifth. So our integral is now the integral from 0 to 2 of x times the quantity 6 minus x squared minus x to the fifth. So we can go ahead and we'll multiply this out to get um, a little bit easier. So we get So when we multiply out 6 minus x squared, we get 36 minus 12x plus x squared. And then we'll multiply that by x. So we get 36x minus 12x squared plus x cubed. And then minus x to the fifth stays. So we can calculate uh, our integral in the normal way with respect to just one variable. So we get the integral of 36x, so So we get 18x squared minus 4x cubed plus x to the 4th over 4 minus x to the 6th over 6th. And we're evaluating that from 0 to 2. So we can go ahead and plug in our values. So we get 18 times 4.
minus 32 plus 4 minus um, 64 over 6. or 32 over 3, and then evaluated at 0, we get 0, 0, 0, and 0. So our, double, our iterated integral is just um, the sum of these four terms. So we get, um, and that turns out to be 100 over 3. So we sketched our region R, and then we created an iterated integral to evaluate our uh, function, to integrate our function f of xy over that region. And then we went ahead and evaluated it, and we determined that the double, double integral is 100, 100 over 3.